Hi! I'm about to risk it all and go to the grocery store to find tiramisu ingredients, so wish me luck. Guys, the bags have been secured. Let's go home. Hey all you cool cats and kittens, it's Carol at Big Cat Rescue. Is it recording? It is recording. Oh my god, cool! Am I crooked? Probably, but it's okay. First step is you're gonna take your Bialotti espresso machine or anything you use to make espresso and start making about four batches to start. I filled this bottom part of my espresso machine with about this much water and then there's this little sieve that goes on top. I feel like this is way too far. How are people gonna know what the hell I'm doing? And take some espresso. I put two teaspoons in each batch of espresso. Mine's kind of small. And then I'm gonna put this on high heat on my stove and wait until it boils. And then keep making batches until a bowl is full though. Keep making batches until whatever it is. My hand mixer broke like literally a week ago and forgot to mention that the reason I'm making this tiramisu is for my friend Rita's birthday. So I'm about to mix this whipped cream by hand. So Rita, just know I love you very much because this is going to take a hot minute. So let's go. Three, two, one. Okay, so since it's recording. All right, now we are ready to assemble our cake. I'm putting it in this throwaway container because I'm taking this to my friend Rita. It's her birthday today. Um, and I'm, I don't know the next time I'm gonna see her. So we're gonna assemble it in this. This has been in here the whole thing time. What's wrong with me? What is wrong with me? Okay, so this is all that you need to assemble your cake. I have some lady fingers that were in my pantry before, so I'm gonna use these before I open these new packages. Your cocoa, the coffee and sugar that should be all cooled down by now. If not, you have to wait a little bit longer, otherwise the cookie absorbs too much of the espresso. You just want it just enough to soak. And then your filling. So, I'm gonna take each lady finger and dip it 
really quickly into the coffee mixture. This might not seem like enough uh, soaking, but trust me, this cake is gonna set in the fridge for about a couple hours before I deliver this to her. And by then, all of the coffee will be soaked into the lady fingers and it's gonna be so good. So next up, after you've dipped all the lady fingers and put them into the pan, you're gonna take some of your filling and scoop it into, scoop it on top of the lady fingers. And be generous, because I personally love a lot of this filling in between the lady fingers. I'm gonna spread it. And then last, addition to each layer is going to be the cocoa powder that I'm going to put through a sifter and just sprinkle it on top of the filling. I could eat this right now, I'm not kidding. One layer down. At this point, your tiramisu is all done. I am so excited about this, even though I'm not even gonna be. I just realized I'm not even gonna taste it. I hope you guys try this because this is my favorite dessert in the whole entire world. This only took me about an hour to make. Um, however, I am gonna stick this in the fridge for like two hours, two to three hours, best if overnight, so all the flavors can marinate and the lady fingers can soak in the coffee and soak in this beautiful filling. Please make this tiramisu because it is the best. And if you do make it, please, 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 please tag me in a picture. As always, subscribe to my channel so you can watch me cook something else. Let me know in the comments what you guys want to see me cook. And actually, let's put this in the fridge. Let's hang out for a second and then I'll show you how I delivered this in quarantine. Mwah! Cake right here, candles, tiramisu. <laughs> Happy birthday! Show us your outfit. Oh my god! Hi! Ooh! Yeah, happy birthday, Rita! I wish I could hug you! No, so you guys, we got the candles so you can light them for when we zoom. We gotta sing happy birthday on Zoom. I love you, Rita.